good evening all dear students in this uh, session i am going to explain about infiltration infiltration is the process by which water enters the surface strata of the soil and moves downwards to join the ground water this water first replenishes the soil moisture deficiency and the excess water moves downwards to become a part of the groundwater the rate at which the water actually infiltrates through a soil at a gray at a given time is known as infiltration rate further the maximum rate at which a soil in any given condition is capable of absorbing water is called its infiltration capacity initially when the soil is dry and the rainfall occurs some rain water is consumed in wetting the soil particles and hence the infiltration rate is high but as the rain con uh, continues the cap the capacity of the soil to absorb water progressively decreases thus it infiltration rate is plotted with respect to time then a falling curve is obtained which is known as infiltration capacity curve dear students on the screen you can see the infiltration capacity curve that is the hortons curve this curve is plotted uh, infiltration rate versus time and this can be calculated with this formula you can see on the screen with this formula you can uh, we can assess the infiltration so where fp is infiltration capacity in mm per r at any time t f o infiltration capacity in mm per r f c is final constant infiltration capacity in mm per r at saturation t is equal to time in hours from the beginning of rainfall k is equal to empirical constant and what are the factors affecting for this infiltration capacity the factors affecting uh, infiltration capacity is texture of soil condition of soil surface soil moisture content type of vegetative surface cover soil temperature agriculture and the seventh one is the presence of uh, entrapped air and quality of water first one is texture of soil in coarse grain texture of soil example sand the water infiltrates very quickly infiltration capacity will be more but in fine grain texture of soil example clay soil the water infiltrates very very slow this is how the infiltration capacity is depends on texture of the soil second is condition of soil surface if the pores of surface soil are sealed due to sedimentation of silt or due to water logging there then the water will infiltrate very negligibly when the porous 
pores or holes vesicles are filled by the sedimentation silt or clay material so there is a less chances of uh, uh, getting infiltration of water so uh, the water uh, will infiltrate very slow very negligibly third point is soil moisture content when the surface soil is dry the rate of infiltration is high but if the surface soil contains moisture the rate of infiltration is low once the soil is get saturated that will not absorb water in such cases infiltration will be low fourth is type of vegetative surface cover if the surface soil is grassless the rate of infiltration will be more but if the surface soil is covered with grass then the rate of infiltration will be low soil temperature if the temperature of saturated soil is very low nearly 0 degree celsius or below the soil may mass become impermeable so the rate of infiltration will be less and the sixth one is agriculture intensive agriculture on the surface soil makes it pervious and hence the rate of infiltration increases in agricultural practice due to the cultivation of land the soil gets dry and this will absorb more water hence the rate of infiltration increases in agriculture land seventh factor is presence of entrapped air the presence of entrapped air increases the resistance to flow and therefore reduces infiltration and the last one is quality of water if water contains turbidity clay colloids salts fertilizers residues etc may have diminishing influence on infiltration capacity so these are the factors affecting for the infiltration thank you guys yeah guys in the next video we'll discuss about measurement of uh, infiltration thank you